Well, now we're here looking at part five of what we can do with these new YouTube channels. And we've been looking at the uh, advanced options. If you're not sure what we're talking about, go ahead and click on part one, two, three, or four. The last one we did, we looked at the advanced options on the left side. Now this time we're gonna focus our attention on the right side. Here we already took a look at all the stuff on the left. We're gonna now focus our time on the right. And as a reminder, you've got your thumbnail icon for the channel and the left stuff is going to be on the left side, meaning these items here are going to affect the left side of this thumbnail and the right stuff is what's going to be on the, the right side. You'll note here, the very outer edge is going to use the left stuff, meaning structure stuff is going to see what we see from the left and the inside is only what we're going to be working with when we work on this stuff on the right. So now, just to make it easier for you to see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see more of the whole thing might be a little harder to read but you'll get a better picture of what's going on so again left side right side that's what we're going to focus on we're focusing on the right side right now the background color is green you'll also note remember that you got a background color on the left side and that is the red that's the structural side this we're going to just deal with what's on the inners the inner guts of our channel so we're going to change that let's say to a light white and scroll down there you see it's changed so these modules all that stuff is what's called background when you're dealing with the right side the yellow again is the wrapper color the red over here is the background that's shown to you on the left side but we're focusing on the right side so that's the background color the transparency by the way is going to be dealing with the background color and we'll get to that in a little bit title text color well that's going to be different than you might think it's this stuff up here on the top, that's the title. It is not what you might think right here, because these are titles of videos, sure, that's right, but they are not what it calls titles. In fact, none of this stuff is titles, it's this, right there, where it says friends, or subscribers, or profile. It's the titles of these things called modules. The module titles are what's going to be affected by this. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's make it a nice contrasting color, let's make it red. So you can see them change. There you go. This is the red title. It's also telling you if you're on the player view or the grid view, none of these are changing. None of this is changing. But as you scroll down further, there you go. You can see it. There's the titles of the modules. So that's what it means by titles. Link color. Well, the things that we were just thinking should have been titles, meaning this stuff, the titles of our videos, those are actually clickable. Those are what are called links. So when we change this link color, it will change those. So let's go ahead and make that blue and take a look and see when that changes. There we go. So now all the clickable stuff that are links is going to be blue and that's where we're going to start seeing our links, the colors of the links. So you can see them over here in your profile area. If you put in some linkable text there, that's great. If you'll see it for the the people that make comments, you can click on their links. So anything link, linkable or clickable, then you're going to have it change to the link color. Body text color, I can just leave that green. It's the view count. It's the stuff here where you see the majority of your text. When you've typed a lot of stuff, that is what's called body text. All right, so now that's the major parts of the colors. Let's talk about transparency. We're going to change this transparency to be 100% transparent and see what happens. There it is, it's changed. Now, we talked about this a little bit earlier. We talked about it's the background color that is being affected by transparency. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing none of the white. It is now 100% transparent. That reveals the color of what? The wrapper, that's right, the wrapper color. So the wrapper color is what's showing through. If we changed our wrapper transparency to be 100%, what do you think we'd see? There you go. Yes, you would see the background color, or if you had uploaded, let's just choose an image here and bring one in here. Let's see, there's a good background that's from our template. If you had brought in a template as a background image, for example, and you had your wrapper transparency to be 100%, then you'll see that color or those that graphic in the background. And if you had your background color on the right side, set to 100% you'd also just see the background graphic but let's change our transparency just a little bit say 50% transparent 
So we make our background color come back a little bit, 50% of it, and then you can see that kind of thing. So we brought in a background graphic and we're doing 50% of our transparency on the right side, which is showing your background color. If we were to delete, go here and delete on the left side that background image, what it's going to do is bring back the background color from the left, and then you see it interact with the background color on the right based on its transparency. So right now, background the wrapper on the left is 100% transparent. Let's bring it back to none so we can see that yellow outline-ish thing. And then so you can see how all these parts and pieces interact together. You're going to want to have a nifty graphic in the background, and that's one reason why we made you a template that you can get very accurate and brings in all kinds of neat stuff, but you can make your own. Just go for it. Just bring in all those things, combine them together, and you get your nice YouTube channel 2.0 design. Now, the next videos that we're going to be putting up are going to give you some tips on how to utilize these special background images and some ideas of how you make your graphics that are here and maybe in the background interact with the rest of your channel design. So you can get yourself ready for the next background integration videos by looking at the background template link that we've got right here in the description or just to the right of me. And uh, if you're not sure what just happened, look at part one, two, three, or four for earlier training. See ya. Man, it's hard to cram all that information in such a short time. Click the link.